Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. This is Funny Bits. Welcome back to another episode of Pry. 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 Um, whatever you pronounce it. Um, we can continue to the journey, but we, we have got some dialogue first. So let's jump into the wagon and see who has some dialogue for us. It's Sir Gilman. I must read the Book of Rights. I don't think I've... I think I, I did a couple of episodes ago, but it's not enough. I need to... Ooh. Okay, um, yeah, I haven't really seen this idea for a long time. Alright, uh, let's see what you have to say, Sir Gilman. Let's interact later with this. You approach Sir Gilman, who must have just finished practicing his fencing maneuvers. He regards, he, he regards with his ingwa. Mr. Leader, this knight is determined to train harder, having joined the famous Nightwings. He shall ensure that this Tremorvite continues to live up to its most feared reputation. This is such an honor! And this knight has a great deal of honor to regain. Having fled the pry hearts, this knight fully expects now to conduct the rites in a most honorable fashion to, to the fullest letter of the law described with the books. Some tremor rites, rites this knight has met and per perchance mentioned by name they are inclined to blend to bend the rules a bit sometimes a lot to, and to prevail by any means they can but this is wrong this exile who refuses to obey the rules as they were written by the under under king Oz and his seven friends deserves neither his honor nor his freedom thusly th does this knight have confidence the master reader shall resist any temptations to conduct the knight in any underhanded fashion now then this knight must undergo a thorough cleansing having trained until the point of foulness so please excuse me master reader he slivers off, humming some sort of Chavros tune. Chavros tune. Okay. <laughs> so he just wanted to tell me that he would be there, right? Okay, let's look in the Book of Rights. Have I ever read anything since the last the demon? Did I read this? Respect. Emperor Morse, um scarcely could recognize him when at last I found him, a half starved animal horns. Uh, sprouted from his head a beastal mirror of his blackened reputation and a man who conquered countries feared by emperor then in such a way as i had never known my child my charge had had been so to slay this man but when i discovered him he was already fighting for his life the little man imp hump 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 yeah, is that uh, provided of a little help against the sinister of the Ark, whose out entire lives were communicating in this instance. I was unable to watch. My heart ached with such pity of the man and for the love I felt for him when I had served him. That I sprang to his defense. Okay. Is that. Yeah, forward. Yeah. I think I've read this. You do read all things. So. Yeah, I think we've done that one. Alright, so let's close the book. Exit. Let's continue then with our journey. Hopefully, Sir Gilman has breathed. At dawn, Volfred is already up he reveals to you a pathway through the woods into the cold lands to the north beyond which lies your next destination okay so we, we 
can only go this way. You have not yet been to this region of the downside. Vorfred revealed to this to be the one path through to the woods into the north. Let's continue on to this bright and colourful land that we always find ourselves upon, even in such dismay sort of surroundings. It's still quite... Oh, we're going by... No, no. I thought for a second, because of the blueness, it was... We transformed into the uh, boat, but we hadn't. Anyway, uh, you get clear of the woods at last and arrive in lands grown cold in the shadow of Mount uh, Aldile. Ald 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 uh, you will have to make it all the way to the top. In a moment of respite, Vordfred calls everyone together to discuss matters uh, permitting to the rights and the plan to which he alluded. You banded together with a common faith that freedom from the downside is the most impossible. I... Uh, am I correct? But let me ask you something. What does freedom, freedom even mean to you? He looks in your direction as he asks, defying you to answer. You cannot sense his own thoughts on the subject and only know the truth of how you feel. Whoa, okay. What does freedom mean to you? Doing what you want, achieving inner peace, having no master, going where you please, uh, to feel true love, living without fear, nothing at all, remain silent. So, I could just choose any one of those, but I'm not sure how many of my decisions will alter the ending. I'm, I'm sure... As I've been playing through this, there's going to be some kind of um, alternate endings involved. But I think that does come down ultimately to what choices I've made um, throughout. So, look, what does freedom mean? What does it actually mean? I mean, it does mean, and it could mean any of these. You could pick any of these. But what does it mean for the game? I mean, if I give the right answer for this, does it make a difference? Um... Nothing at all. What does freedom mean to you? Um, living without fear, I guess. Well, no, you've always got fear in life. You've always got something. You're going to be afraid of something, but uh, to feel true love. Now, you can feel true love even if... Well, can you still be exiled? And Yeah, you can be. Freedom. Doing what you want. Achieving inner peace. Freedom means having a clear conscience and a carefree heart. Uh, freedom means answering to no one's will other than your own. Having no master. Then that implies that he shouldn't even be here. I don't know. Going where you please. Freedom means being able to go where the heart yearns without restriction and without fear. We'll go with that one. You tell Vordfrud that freedom means having the ability and means to go where you please, when you please, the opposite of being cast into exile and forced in to chase the stars. He considers your remarks for a short while. Orders and boundaries exist not to limit freedom, but to protect them through Perhaps this is debatable, Th though not. <laughs> oh, okay. Admittedly, we are not very free here in our exile, where the elements, if not the stars, conspire to prevent us from going where we please. Yet, if we, fo if following the stars should lead us to an even greater freedom, then I should like to think we are making a worthwhile trade. He, tur he then turns his attention to the whole group. Now let me tell you all what freedom means to me. Freedom means to live without fear. Oh, I could have chosen that one. Oh, okay. Um, to be able to in 
indulge one's curiosities and passions, at least the ones that cause no harm to others without the constant threat of judgment and reprisal. Freedom means not being made a criminal for what you know or whom you love or what you choose to think or not think. He looks out towards the distant mountains. Within the next few days, your time in exile could come to an end. You could see the Commonwealth once more. And you would be ex exhorted there, given the highest honor, the opposite of how you got here. But you know, you would not be truly free, I think, at least, at the least, you would become complicit to an ancient system that would design to cast down others such as you. It is a system whose well-intentional founding principles have long been lost, and the eight scribes, if there are out there still, have made quite clear they shall not intervene first hand that is where you come in he turns to you and everyone again looking to each of you long have i wished to gather such a group that together you might see that seeking freedom only for yourselves is too modest of a goal you shall a higher calling now, the plain then is this, we free each other from the downside through the rights, then we meet up on the other side, we organize, each new moon at dusk we shall, we join together at the spiral sanctum, we need as many of us there as possible, my agents on the other side shall explain the rest. You're plotting a revolt? Just so, I'm asking a lot. You do have other options. Dissent, however, is not one of them. The reader and myself, you know by now what we can see through it. But you need to be part of this, nor is it in my interest to concern you. You may go your own way if you wish. Live out your remaining days here like so many others. So if anyone among you prefers this, if you cannot see yourself continuing to strive together in a commonwealth as you are doing here, then speak now. Wolfred pauses for a time, examining each member of the group. No one stirs. Very good. Some of you consider yourself friends, some others not, but all of you are bound together through the rights and are integ integral to our plan. Remember that. You seek true freedom. You will not find it writing from... You in a commonwealth, but together you can bring it out both of yourselves and others. That is my promise. Then he lets out a long breath. <sighs> That's it. I'll ask you all to think on this and let reconvene along our journey to the summit. Vorthred turns towards the mountain, leaving you to consider what he said and plot the wagon's now northward path. Well, Mur Pass is the only um, way we can go. Is it not? It is. Uh, Vulford indicates this is the only way to reach the base of the mount. Old Do Doyle. Or Delio. Hmm, I'm just pondering that idea as... <laughs> okay, um... 
What if everyone decides to change, you know, change what they want to do? Right, uh, beyond lies Mount Idoloi. I suggest we make camp here at the base of the mountain, for we shall need our spirits and our strengths to make the ascent. Discuss the plan. Whoa, okay. Let's go inside the wagon. And see what's... Oh, okay. All right, let's see what you have to say, shall we? There you are, my boy. There was something which I wanted to discuss with you in private. Forfred stares at you rather intently, uh, as if reaching out to you, and then... You know... You do know what it means to be a reader. Those such as we... We are not limited to reading pages from a book. Though your ability in this, I sense, is nascent, still mirrors flashes uncontrollable. I see it as well now that they haven't told you yet, your friends, and that explains a lot. They haven't told you, readers such as you cannot go free. I had wondered why you would insist on pressing onward with the group in light of this. The answer then is plain. You simply did not know or fully realize. They did not deceive you, by the way. There is no reason they would know themselves other than Tariq who shall not influence your thinking in such matters. Rather, I had expected, but at first we met, that you already knew the truth of this, having read the pages in the Book of Rites which states it plain. Only those who shall conduct the rites firsthand shall walk the path towards enlightenment and become a like eligible to regain their freedom. Perhaps you have not gotten to the part just yet. True enough, isn't it? I mean, I might not have read that yet. Uh, Ford Fred breaks free from you and looks at you again. Then he speaks to you as normal. It is plain that you are not in adequate condition to conduct the rites, and this group values you as a reader. I wish only to ensure you understand what you are getting into here. Despite whatever hopes and dreams and promises might have been shared, I do not think the rites can help you to return. If that is what you had in mind. So once again, I invite you to depart, and I will see to it that you are compensated. Do not underestimate, do not misunderstand. If it is your wish to remain, then you are welcome. But this journey we are on, it has no guarantees, not for you, not any one of us. Do you understand? Yeah, okay. So basically, it's, it's, it's literally break. I think it's almost breaking the fall forward. It's telling us as a player that there's no real uh, exile for us. You know, we, we pretty much have to share the journey. Uh, if, if we don't continue the journey, obviously that's game over, I think. I want to see it through, so I don't care. Yeah, say I un say uh say you say you understand. Uh, you understand the words of warning. Yet, just the same, you choose to carry on. There is more that you wish to achieve on this journey than freedom for yourself. I admire that, my boy. Then, very well. Know that we have much at stake here in this anyway. Much more than just a shot at going back into the Commonwealth, which cast us down here to begin with. 
It sounds like you intend to stick around then. We'll have lots more time to chat as we ascend the sacred, sacred mountain in the coming days. Until then... He strides out of the wagon and then leave, leaving you with your thoughts. Well... Screw you. <laughs> okay, discuss the plan. I guess we were going to be discussing the plan with the group. Uh, earlier, Voldemort called for a group, group meeting, presumably to reveal his plan in more detail. Instead, he reveals some bad news. Wait, what are you saying? What am I saying, my boy, is that while you can indeed get yourself out of here, it, can, it can't be all of you at once. We earn our way back one by one, or not at all. But I thought I swore that we'd go free together. We may go free together yet, but it's going to take time, and this is only the first phase. You, Hedwin, and the others exchange glances. Let me make this plainer for you still. Here is how the coming days are going to unfold. First, we'll going to ascend Mount Allardyle there to the north. You may not think this wagon fit for it, though rest assured it made the journey many times. Next, we'll pass through Scribes Gate. Only the worst worthy pass through there as your reader could assist if he did not merely skimp that chapter of the book. Afterwards, we'll reach the Fall of Solomon and meet our adversaries in the rites. They are to be the tempers led by the demon Ignores. Ignores. Uh, you'll know him when you'll see him. Both you and they shall choose someone from your repressive ranks. Then, once one of the Tremorites prevails, there's somebody will be whisked home to the Commonwealth. Whisked home to the... <laughs> whisked home to the Commonwealth! Precisely. Once returned, how somebody is taken in and clothed and fully pardoned. The Commonwealth knows about all this. The same Commonwealth that says a sentence into exile is forever and freedom from the downside is impossible. Many of these details, the scribes themselves wished to be kept secret from exile, and the leaders of the Commonwealth alike have good in incentive to protect those secret secrets well. So then, that's it. We'll climb the mountain. Someone goes back and everyone else stays. For most of those participating in the rites, yes, that's it. But I like your con condition, condition, and indeed, for us, that isn't it all at all. If one of us returns, it shall be just a step along our path. However, let's let that sit for now. Gather your strength. We'll talk again on our way up. Vorfred leaves the rest of you to consider what he said. You have time for your vocations at dawn. You shall begin your ascent of Mount Odalil. However you bloody pronounce it. Oh, crap. Um, well, so... Forge for resources. Study in private. Mentor or companion. Well, I've always forged for resources. I've never studied and I've never tried to mentor a companion. I may have done once, but uh, anyway, I think 
the journey is still quite a long way off and it sounds like we have to choose who we want to set three i think it does it's, i think it does come down to that possibly i guess we'll only find out um as we continue on our journey in the next episode because i've run out of time in this one so i'm gonna choose something at the start of the next episode and hopefully you can join me then if you uh, liked it hit the like button if you dislike it hit the dislike button and <laughs> um if you have any comments or suggestions and leave them feel free to leave them in the comment section down below don't forget to check the uh, description um description down below also for links to the game and websites i've left them down there so if you are interested in this game uh, by this point hopefully you are um watching it and you want to find out it is available of course on most formats um but yeah there's a link down in the description down below uh that's it that's all we've got time for as always whatever you do keep it fun until next time thanks for watching bye for now bye bye <laughs>